Hey everybody, it's Grady at Twin Creek Audio. Back on this little ladder here in the studio today to show you this Court. Can you see that? Court electric guitar. I found reference to this guitar, one that looks really similar to this. They said it was a copy of a Fender Lead 2, called it a Court Lead 2. I'm not exactly sure. Seems like, you know, this would have been a Sears catalog, JC Penney catalog guitar back in the 80s. It does have two little gold foil stickers on the back of the headstock. One says made in Korea and the other presumably is a serial number. It's a very lightweight little guitar, short scale. It has two single coil pickups, each with its own volume knob, master tone, output jack is mounted on the top. The bridge is not intonatable. I've got some video of what this looked like when I first got it, opened the case, and it's actually a really clean guitar. I took the rusty strings off of it. It had a couple of high frets, so I took care of that, put some new strings on it. So I got it all fixed up and cleaned up pretty nice. So check out these clips of what I did to this guitar, and then I'm going to plug it into the Hot Tone Britwind and test it out. So it turns out our court electric guitar had about four high frets. I used an inexpensive fret crowning file that I got from Amazon probably a year and a half, two years ago. And I just knocked the frets down, those high frets down with this file using a straight edge to find the ones that were high and now we should have all the frets level on this little short scale court guitar. All the frets are good and level now. I cleaned off all the dust. Now I'm going to use my little fret guard here and a Dremel tool with a buffing wheel on the end of it polishing compound got on here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna buff these frets and then put some strings on it and try it out so I've got this court electric guitar connected to the hot tone Britwind nano legacy floor amplifier I have the cab simulator direct output going to a PreSonus MP20 and then I have the speaker output going to a custom made speaker cabinet with a Vox 10 inch speaker. I think the speaker came out of one of Vox's older modeling amps and my dad made this little cabinet for me. So it's really cool. I think it sounds really good with the hot tone Britwind. So this is with both pickups on hot tone British Invasion channel and this is the cab simulator. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to a Shure SM57 on the little custom made cabinet with the box 10 inch speaker. That's also connected to a PreSonus MP20 as the mic preamp. So this is the court electric guitar through the hot tone with the speaker cabinet.
Now I'm going to turn down the volume knob for the bridge pickup so we can hear the neck pickup by itself first through the cab simulator. Now I'm going to stay on the neck pickup by itself and let you hear it through the cabinet. Now I'm going to turn the volume on the bridge pickup back all the way up and turn the volume for the neck pickup all the way down so we can hear the bridge pickup by itself through the Hot Tone Britwind cab simulator first. Now I'm going to test just the bridge pickup by itself through the Hot Tone Britwind with the 10 inch box speaker and custom speaker cab SM57 PreSonus MP20 mic preamp. Well, the little guitar actually stays in tune pretty well. Plays pretty decent too after a little bit of work that I did on it. Didn't take much to make it a pretty decent playing guitar. Be great for a beginner and it's kind of fun to play with the short scale and everything. I think I like the neck pickup sound the best on this guitar. So I'm going to roll off the bridge pickup, turn on just the neck pickup and jam and wish you all an excellent day and hoping you have a good one and all that good stuff. And I'm going to tell you to like and subscribe to the channel. And now I'm going to jam a little bit for the outro. Have a good one.